Stadia sucks in 2022. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Veep. Me like Veep. When's the last time you played it? And why does it suck? Do you even have it where you're from? Or are you just trolling? Why cloud gaming is saving your money but causing harm too? Oh, okay. What is this right here? Maybe Miang Veep is, uh, is right. That's funny to me. I've seen those articles. They're talking about the energy consumption. Oh, okay, okay. Kind of like how people are using G uh, GPUs for uh, Bitcoin mining, and then they're using up to uh, a lot of resources. Why cloud gaming is saving your money but causing harm to the environment. Oh, okay. Cloud gaming is a natural progression of the gaming business. According to Elan Caster's university study, video game streaming could result in a 30% rise in emissions in some cases. PlayStation Now, Google Stadia, GeForce Now, and other cloud gaming services are already available for a single fee. These services let gamers play hundreds of games on a range of platforms. Uh, Google Stadia is free. Cloud gaming services, on the other hand, will have a considerably higher influence on electricity consumption as they become more popular. Okay. Cloud gaming refers to a video game streaming service in which the games are hosted on a remote server. Okay, we know that. All that is required is a, a reliable con internet connection. Yep. In the beginning with uh, gamers will require less actual hardware in their houses. The begging with gamers this results in reduce reduce plastic waste systems and game cases lower manufacturing energy consumption and increased global gaming accessibility oh, okay okay so they're looking at both things right so on one side it causes more electricity more uh you know if, especially if they're using fossil fuels to power these uh big server farms um that can be good but at the same time you don't have any more consoles any more cartridges you know, blu-rays all that stuff that gets dumped to run those servers it takes electricity uses coal mining coal etc yeah yeah that makes sense well servers but i wonder which ones like which one's more if if everything goes cloud gaming right um is that is that going to cause more damage with the requirements for for energy then all the plastics and all these hardware and you know all these uh, actual physical things that end up at, at a at a landfill. While servers may consume more energy than previously homes may not, because these servers handle all of the hard lifting. The devices you use to uh, watch them don't need to use nearly as much power. <coughs> Currently, more than ten billion is spent on power for gaming PCs alone. Wow, jeez. Gamers are now spending hours downloading fixes and games that often exceed 10, 100 gigabytes in size. As a result, instead of being turned off, systems are left in the rest mode on uh, or other low power modes. This would not be an issue if more gamers use a cloud gaming service allowing for greater energy savings. Oh, okay. It should be emphasized, however, that uh, these figures were calculated using current streaming standards of 720p and 1080p. If 4K streaming becomes popular, electricity use could skyrocket. Where the energy comes from will be crucial in the future. Microsoft has already committed to becoming carbon negative by 2030, and its data centers are carbon neutral. Google Stadia also features carbon neutral servers. Well, that's nice to hear. You know what I mean? I don't know. I guess uh, it's more intuitive for you, for us to imagine that um, that it'll be better for the environment because you don't have all this junk f uh, floating around in the oceans that get stopped. You know, but to me, that's my thing. Oh, look, uh, Milag VIP did the same thing. He just uh, came here. Stadia sucks. 2020, <laughs> 2022 and left. Thanks for the input. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that is a good question. That is a good question, especially with those uh, with those GPN farming uh, uh, places, GP not GPA GPU farming uh, places. You know what I mean? Where they just like nobody's really getting anything out of it other than because the more you mine for Bitcoin, the less Bitcoin you can get. So the more machines about mining. Uh, makes it so there's less Bitcoin available. That's part of the system, uh, at least the way I understand it. So I don't know how that's benefiting anybody. I think that is hurting more than, than helping.